Hello, my name is Jason Tiedek, and I've got something incredible to share with you that'll change the way you look at classroom training. I'm not gonna sell you on the importance of classroom training. If you're viewing this video, you already know it's an essential aspect of any training strategy. If you're looking to raise your ROI, engage employees who are disengaged, or just make the workforce a lot more fun, then you've come to the right place. So what exactly will you be learning in this classroom training masterclass? Well, for starters, you'll learn how to create trust with each trainee before the class even starts. You'll also be learning how to use proven techniques to generate more credibility and more rapport. Look, I can go on and on about the pain points we'll be solving in this mastery course, or you could do yourself a big favor and check out our course page today and see how we'll get you to the point where you can motivate any trainees while simultaneously increasing engagement and retention in less time. It's your call. Let this opportunity pass you by or answer the door when opportunity comes a knocking. I look forward to seeing you on the inside. We're gonna focus at the beginning here a full day on how to open convincingly. Now when I say open convincingly, I don't just mean the first two minutes. I mean the first two hours. I mean before class, during class, all the way up to the first break, sending them to break, and bringing them back from break. All of that is the open. And I'm gonna start with how do you even make them feel safe before class? How do you do this? When you first walk into the room, a lot of your trainees feel like this little dog right here. And they feel like this is you, a little intimidating. And the dog's kinda up in that other dog's business. That's how it feels when you try to have small talk with some of these trainees. They don't even wanna be there, let alone have somebody up in their business in the first minute of the class or even before the class starts. If I can get to the empathy level, he and I can start to be teammates. Imagine if you were able to become a teammate with Joe within the first three minutes of small talk with him. What might that look like for you? Well, let's give you a five-step model to make it happen. This is exactly what you want to do with the handshake. What you want to do is walk as if you're going to shake their hand. You start to make the move, and if they go, you go. But if they don't draw, you stay put. Seriously, this is what you do. Now you have to do this as you're bringing the chair over and as you're introducing yourself. So it's something like that. By the way, we're getting our first genuine laughter right now, <laughs> just so you know in the, in the video. So here's what it looks like. Here's a hook, and it's not very good. The fish don't want to bite it. Neither do the trainees unless you come back from break, and I can teach you how to captivate them within the first, guess how many minutes you get before they want to stop listening to you. Five, read the book Brain Rules by John Medina. You get five to 10 minutes before the drifting theory kicks in. I'm gonna show you how to give such an amazing hook that they can't wait to hear your first lesson. This is literally a formula for how you can make your class more exciting. What you do is you figure out why your class will make your, in this case, physicians, and in this case, we actually did one for ER physicians, more happy, successful, or have more freedom in their life. I did this with a group of people that I'm about to do with you right now, and they came up with this statement. Listen to this. I'm going to show you how you can get more face time with patients, spend less time documenting, by easily finding information on the patients, getting them what they need with your orders, and writing your notes efficiently. Whoa. Way cool. Listen to how this sounds. I've got some good news for you right now. You don't have to do all these boundaries. You get to pick which ones you like. I personally, love setting a question boundary because I don't want to get questions that I don't want to answer. Right, Andrea? I don't want to get those out of scope questions. So I will set a boundary of what I will and what I won't answer. I'm gonna tell you right now, Andrea had a goal of in scope and out of scope questions. Andrea, you have to do this one. Yeah. Because if you don't tell people what you'll answer, guess what they'll do? They'll ask stuff you don't want to answer. 
Make a note if you're interested in the question boundary on page 63 at the bottom. It says questions are a sign people are interested. So Andrea's getting questions? That's awesome. That means she's a good trainer. That means they know she's credible. They want what she has to say. But look what it says. Trainers often tell me they have a hard time getting responses when they invite questions. You can turn that around with just a few simple techniques. Check it out. This is my favorite question boundary on the planet and it took me, get this, three hours to write this. Just this slide right here. And I've got the whole thing memorized. It sounds something like this. There's a lot of material in this class. You're gonna have a lot of questions. I'm gonna give you the answer to all your questions. Notice I'm not looking, I've got this memorized. If it's a question that's part of the class that everyone needs to know the answer to, I'll answer it immediately. If it's a question that not everyone needs to know the answer to, I'll have you write that down and I'll answer that for you individually. And some questions I know will only apply to some people in the room, I'll have you put that on your question sheet and I'll answer those at 4.30. Let's get started. I'm literally going to show you how to get them in the palm of your hand by the first break so that they cannot wait to have you, not just for this class, but for every class you ever teach again. In the oral review, I'm doing this one. I wanna know if they can remember what I've taught them. And what's even cooler, I want to, and I want to show them that. I want them to know that I know that they know the stuff that they need to know. That's what gives me credibility. I want to show them that I, without telling them this, am a content expert, write this with me in the margin, and I'm an expert educator. I want them to know this just by this oral review alone. And if you do this right, not only will they know this, they will sing your praises for it. Um, I think I would say, first of all, that Jason's really engaging. It's a fun, interactive training session to attend, which is a lot different than a lot of the trainings that I've attended in the past. I'd also say that you can immediately turn around and start to use the material and the information that Jason provides. So I actually had an opportunity last week to go ahead and had a couple training sessions right after, and I already used some of the techniques we learned in the first session. What were some of those? Um, starting out strong, just watching my tone, and then also uh, I changed a little bit how I start my class to match and correlate with what Jason taught us in the first session. I've taken classes taught by Jason before, so I knew that it would be great. The content is a lot. There's a lot that's covered, but, um, but learning how to apply it in class really makes the difference right away, so you can go ahead and put it into practice during your next class. Well, there are a couple things. This has been a very engaging course, and the couple takeaways I've had is Having been an experienced trainer for a while, there's been some little tidbits that I've picked up along the way to help enhance my courses that I will be training. But also the other takeaway that I've gotten out of this is the camaraderie that has been built now amongst my coworkers here in this room. I've really enjoyed that. I've gotten to know them in a different way, and it's built a really nice rapport. Well, I think what makes this class different is that it's interactive and hands-on, and I can really practice the tools that I'm learning. Um, while I'm learning them and so uh, that helps me to feel more comfortable uh, and know that I can do it and uh, that it's going to make a difference for my um, my classes. I definitely feel there's a strong return on investment. I think that we are at a point where we need to enhance our training sessions in some way and I think this is our opportunity to do that to change the way in which we present the classes um, so this will give our trainees a chance to really enjoy our classes. And I think that will be definitely a large return on investment for us. Um, I gotta believe that after, when I leave this, after taking this course, that I will be a much better trainer and I will feel much better about my classes. There are times when we're out there as trainers where we don't feel things went as well as it should have, but with some of the tools that we've been given here today, this should be able to help us with all of our classes moving forward. Uh, what makes this class different is that rather than just sitting and listening to several hours of lecture, I can actually put into practice what I'm learning as I'm learning it, which helps solidify everything that I'm learning. Um, again, this is a hands-on training and it's just interactive and Jason's so great in make, at making me feel comfortable just because I am new at this and this is a new position for me. So. Um, 
you know, it kind of gets rid of that nervousness and I'm able to get right in there and get my hands dirty and, and practice um, what I'm learning. So as a lead, I feel it's really important that um, as I'm going through this class, I'm realizing that we need to not only attend it the first time and be really active in it and incorporate um, things into our training at that point, but as an ongoing learning experience, coming back and reevaluating and reassessing ourselves, but also reattending uh, portions or all of this class on a yearly or every other year basis just to, again, incorporate more of those pieces. We've learned so much in the last two days that I think that I won't be able to incorporate all of them right away, but I can as I start to readdress this on a yearly or by uh, every other year basis. I think this class is different from other classes that I've attended because it's much more interactive and there's a lot more, um, there are a lot more exercises that keep you engaged through the day and um, Jason really puts the material that he's teaching into practice in this class and you can see how effective it is. One thing I've heard before from previous leadership is that uh, you can't train someone how to train and I think that this class really kind of blows that idea out of the water <laughs> that you can give several really tangible, which is really important to me, tangible, practical tips that you can use immediately. That's important.